Here at RTS, we believe that the Master of Divinity degree is the best pastoral preparation for those who want all that they need to shape their understanding of the Bible, their grasp of theology, their ability to minister to folks. The MDiv here is 106 credit hours. It's a significant investment of time. And thankfully, men and women come from all over to spend years working at that. Some can't. For various reasons, they can't remove themselves from a local situation, from a job, from family commitment, perhaps from very significant involvement in their local church. The hybrid MDiv is a way in which they can immerse themselves and study here while living there. They'll travel here six times for what we call hybrid weeks. They've prepared, they've read, they've studied, they've written, they've interacted, and then they come for a, a week of class, morning, noon, and night. It's a week full of time with professors. It's a week where they get to hear live lectures, participate in rich discussion, and they get to worship with, pray with, and fellowship with their fellow students from all around the world. For me, it was really neat to be able to do these studies and take these courses as I was in full-time ministry because there was always overlap. Whether I was preaching or discipling or whatever we were doing in church or campus ministry, I was able to really use the things that I was learning in the context of my ministry. The fact that we get to learn so much and apply it the next day. I'll be going on the campus on Monday and I can't wait to share some of the things that we've learned here to students in real time. So that has been invaluable. Really the only way that I could have finished an MDiv is to go through this hybrid program. It's, it's made for people like me who are in full-time ministry or have a full-time job, can't relocate. This flexibility has allowed people to maintain their ministry and stay in ministry um, while still getting theological education that is robust and uh, committed to Reformed theology and taught by the residential faculty. Oh man, I love my professors. I think what I like about the most is that they are astute. Those guys are smart. <laughs> they know their stuff. Um, but, on, but on top of that, they're, they're pastors. Every professor that I had, I, I still am in contact with. And so those relationships have been really valuable, especially now that I find myself in some very tricky pastoral moments. I can, I can call upon people who have a lot more wisdom and experience and help. They will still help walk me through confusing aspects of pastoral ministry. My relationship with the professors outside of the classroom has been the best part of RTS. They've helped me grow not only in my theology, but in my doxology and my praise for the Lord and my family life and my love for God and my love for my family and for those I minister to. I never thought that I would have these kind of relationships with these men. One thing you see very quickly is you see students forming bonds and friendships. We have meals together, we have chapel together, we have fire pits together, we have on-campus food trucks and and you see very quickly that uh, the shared challenges of ministry, the shared goals of preparation really bring people together. It's a brotherhood. Uh, we look forward to seeing each other. Even though classes are from 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. at night, we're staying till 12 p.m. And, and, and kicking it. It's cool to see a guy who is pastoring almost a mega church, you know, connect with somebody who is like, I'm just getting started into ministry and they're brothers and they're learning from each other. So it's been a big blessing being around those guys too. So that was the one thing that really surprised me is the community that is built through the hybrid program. I think the relationships that I developed are, are stronger than your average residential program. The hybrid program gives you the opportunity to receive encouragement from like-minded people. Some people are, are worn out when they come to us from the mission field, from their ministries. They come into the program and they find community. I would not have done seminary if it wasn't for the hybrid program. I had no idea what I was getting into, walked on campus not knowing anyone. Now it's, it's wild to see four or five years later and what God has done. I have friends on campus, I'm close to the professors, I've learned so much, I feel equipped and trained, not only head but heart and uh, it's, been a, it's been a great experience for me.